In this video, uh, this exam question, it's more about sequence and series, okay? So here we have a sequence. Now, the question states, which of the following will complete the sequence? Now, when working with a sequence, one of the first thing we need to do is to get an understanding of uh, what's happening. Where is the sequence going? Is it increasing? Is it increasing, meaning is it going up or is it decreasing? Is it going down? All right. So here, um, let's let's just look at which where where the sequence is going and just to determine what's happening. OK, so here we have 101, then we have 99, then we have 97. So obviously this sequence is trending down. Okay, so we have a downward movement. So we have a downward movement in our sequence. Now, the next thing that we need to look at, we need to take note of um, what is the difference, okay? Or how much are we decreasing by? Now, when I look at 101, the first number or the first term in the sequence, I it's 101. When I look at the second number in the sequence, it's 99. So I'm asking myself, what is the difference between 101 and 99? So I know that I would have a 2 in, in between there, OK? Because if I should subtract 99 from 101, I would get 2. And, and, and we could do this quickly on our calculator. OK, so let's just pull up our calculator quickly. So here, if I have 101, 101 minus 99, that would be equal to 2. All right, good. Now, let's check again. Between 99 and 97, if we are decreasing by 2 again. Now, let's take 99 and 97. So if I should subtract. 97 from 99 again I would get another 2 so obviously what this is saying I'm decreasing by 2 so when I leave 101 I'll jump to 99 then when I leave 99 I will jump to 97 now this is the important thing to note in a sequence what you're increasing by or what you are decreasing by in this case we're decreasing by 2 so we're going to look at these numbers now these options option A option B option C and option D to see which one of these sequences are decreasing by 2. Here I have 95 and then I have 94. Okay, so this would be out because here I'm decreasing by 1, 95, 94, and then 93. So that's out. Then here I have a 96, then, I'm, then I have 95, then 94. So again, by process of elimination, B would be out because there I'm decreasing by 1. Now, if you note here, I have a 96, then I have a 94, then I have a 92. Here I am decreasing by 2. However, if you notice this first term here in the sequence, 96, and when you compare it with the last term that that they gave us here is which is 97 the difference there would be 1 okay even though this sequence is decreasing by 2 it wouldn't match with this because this is 97 and this is 96 and that difference is still 1 so that would be eliminated so obviously part D would be our answer okay because when you look at part D carefully where we left off up top is 9 at 97 and then we would pick up at 95 then 93 and then 91 so that would be our answer okay and it's that it's like that feel free to post a comment or a question if you are still not clear and we'll get back to you as soon as possible